trusting in God. In the Sermon on the Mount, our Lord says, Look at the lilies of the field and the birds of the air. God provides for these lilies. And our Lord says, even Solomon, in all of his elegant apparel, does not equal the beauty of the lilies that cloak the fields, the meadows. And our Lord says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be given to you besides. Look at the birds of the air. We're never going to see a bird flying in the air that's flying to a psychologist or psychiatrist due to stress or pressure or tension or anxiety. They do not worry because God provides for them. So the Lord goes on to say that if God will provide for the lilies of the field and the birds of the air, will he not provide for us? And the Lord says, do not worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear. Pagans worry about these things. But rather, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be given to you besides. Here's a beautiful image for you. Jesus is walking on the water. He's heading toward the ship where the apostles are. The apostles see Jesus and they cry out, Ghost! 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 Jesus says, Get a hold of yourself at his eye. Peter says, If it is you, Lord, tell me to walk. And Peter gets out of the boat, and he starts to walk on the water. And imagine Peter walking on the water, and then possibly mo moving his eyes off Christ to a wave or the wind that was about to engulf him. And he sinks. And as he's sinking, he cries out, Lord, save me. And the Lord says, Man of little faith. With the other hand, he stretches out his hand, and he grasps Peter. And Peter is able to walk on the water. They get in the boat, and then after that, the boat crosses to the other side, to the shore, safely. Our problem is, is that instead of focusing upon he who can solve the problems, we focus on our problems. Jesus can solve our problems if we fix our eyes, our mind, our heart on him. So let us today try to trust in God's loving divine providence all the days of our lives.